Friday, we were sharing a fun photo. Let's take a look. And we shared a fun photo. That was what we did in our classroom. So we did it at home. That was Dennis' work from home. Then on Friday, we did it in class. Right? Yes? Okay. And then we watched the video on my YouTube channel that talks about comparing amounts of money. So all this work that you posted on your own on class photo last Friday, right? Okay, so that was good work done. So the video that was on the counting money was here, right? Then you can go back and watch it. In the uh, like Alicia, you were absent last week. So you can go home and look for this video. At the end of it, we have these pictures here. Okay? Right? Okay, so back to where what we were doing. So we did comparing the amount of money last week and we went home with the homework of comparing the furniture, table, sofa, and bed. Okay? So we said that we can learn to compare by comparing the dollars first, then the cents. So you have like the table. The sofa and the bed. You can compare the dollars first. The table is $208 dot 15 cents and 15 cents. The sofa is $235 dot, no cents, just $235, and the bed is $208 dot 80, so 80 cents. So, looking at this, then we learn that we can compare money, like how we compare two numbers. So, I will compare the greater value first. I can see that if I compare the dollars, the sofa will be the most expensive item because it has $235, whereas for the table and the bed, it's just $208 and something else. Okay, then you compare the table and the bed, you realize that they have the same dollars. Both are two hundred and eight dollars. Then, like this, I need to compare the cents to help me to know which is a more expensive item. Okay. So here, most of us will be able to answer that the sofa was the most expensive item. Because it has $235, whereas the table is the cheapest because the least. Plus, the least means that it's the cheapest. Okay, then. So, then you have the comparison words. And then you have the arranging the items. Remember when you're arranging the items, you want to be writing the names of the items, not the amount, the value they cost. So the cheapest is the table. You'll write the table here in the blank. But if you need help, then you write the amount on the top. $208. And 18 cents. Or oh, 15, sorry, not 15. Okay. Then you have the bed that is the cost in between is 280 cents. So that is the one that is like in the middle, and you have the sofa that is the most expensive, at $235. So 
So if you need, then you write the month of birth to my name. Otherwise, you just need to spell the name of the object. Okay, let's move on to the word problems now. On page 35, it was 45, it was homework as well. Okay, so I move on. Okay. So then we started on the word problems. You realize that hey, these word problems are familiar, they sound familiar because we learn about word problems since the start of the year. We learn one step word problems, two part word problems, and two step word problems. Now I'm going to do page 45. Because these are the easier question, you realize that the steps are quite straightforward. So, so the first one here, Hui Min and Jimmy story, what kind of question is it? Is it a part whole question or a comparison question? That's what we want to answer. Jimmy and Hui Min's question. Do you think it's a part whole question or comparison question? That's right. Why is it a part whole? Who are the parts? So what does all together mean? The whole, the total. Thank you, Hadi. So I can say that this is a part whole model because we have all together that is the whole. So you can see this is the all together. And Hui Min is one part, and Jimmy is one part. So it's part, part, whole, just like your number bonds. I have Hui Min. I have Jimmy's amount. So I'm going to write them in. So not forget the dollar sign the right raise in to remind ourselves that in this chapter, your units must involve either dollars or cents. So I have Hui Min. Kui is $238 and Jimmy is $549. So we know that Kui plus Jimmy will give you the answer that you need if it's all together. Okay, so you put the two hundred forty-eight dollars. Don't forget the dollar sign. Okay, write in the dollar sign as well. But in the working, then you can don't write the dollar sign. Okay, is that so? Let's check. Ah, uh. so check the check on regrouping as well. Eight plus nine is seventeen. So you need to reboot here. This is very important. Don't forget to do your rebooting. Okay, yes. So after you reboot, you realize that you have $787 all together. So you write down dollar sign $787. So this is the one step of problem that we learned since primary one. Then the next question, you realize that it's also a quite easy question because you only ask for one step. Why is it only ask for one step? Let's see. Is this a first and foremost, is this a comparison question or a part more question for question two? Comparison, very good. Ah, okay. Yes, you point out a very important point because of the word how much more than so you see the word more than you know that it's comparison. So I have some money on Monday, some money on Tuesday. You want to know the more, so you put draw a comparison model like this. The one that is more Tuesday, you see is here. Then you want to find out how much more. This is the phrase that says how much more. So this is how much more. The extra that makes, you see? Monday and Tuesday not equal to each other. So Monday is 60 cents. Don't forget to write down the 60 cents. Also for this question, the, the unit is cents. So cents is the 
important yang ini. Tuesday is 85 cents. So to find out how much more, I'll take the one that is longer, the Tuesday minus the Monday, will give you the how much more. So 85 cents, don't forget to write in the units, minus the 60 cents, 25 cents. Okay, very good. You can do the working at the side. Get from this the one step work problems here. Yes. Ah, you got the five cent point. Okay, so these are the easier one step work problem. This was homework. Do you get them right? Yeah, you're just checking, right? So we are going to move on to the two part and two step work problems now. And we are going to complete this whole chapter on money within the next half an hour or so, okay? Right. Okay, moving on. Now, not so much when ready, you can read the question on the next page first while waiting for our friends, okay? Okay, now, so let's take a look here. There's some helping phrases here already written for you. And then the model even. Let's take a look, okay? First, we practice our race steps as well. We write down R, A, C, E at the side. And then pay attention to the question. And you realize that the question already gives you the units here. You have 45 cents and you have 35 cents. So I will be able to tell myself that you have cents is the units to be remembered. Now, then I read the story. Minty spent 45 cents on a jelly and 25 cents more on a bun. How much did she spend in all? Okay, so I read the question once. I'm going to read it one more time together with my annotations. So, Minty spent 45 cents on the jelly. If that tells me that the jelly is an amount that I know is 45 cents. I got the, the jelly. But the bun, do I know the bun's price? Yeah, I don't know. So the bun is a, I don't know. We didn't say how much she spent on the bun, but it mentioned how much more. Because of the word more, I realized that this part that I highlighted in green, the part that is small is when I compare the jelly and the bun. Then there's this extra part here that is popping out. This extra part that is popping out is the part that says more. Just this green part, this is the part that is small. That's why they are not equal. And that's 35 cents. Then I must ask myself here, which model is the jelly? Which model is the bun? Is it the one on top or the one below? The jelly is the shorter bar or the longer bar? Shorter bar. Because the jelly is 45 cents and it says that mainly spent more on the bun. So the bun is the longer bar. Now, the question asked, it didn't ask how much did she spend on the bar. He asked, how much did she spend in all? That means she's asking for the jelly plus the bun. Correct? But we have the jelly, that's what we have. Do we have the bun? No, we don't have the bun. So it tells us that. Correct, that's right. So I must have two sets to it. 
first I must find the bun. This is A step A or step one. So first of all, I need to find the bun. Step one, I use the jelly. I plus the extra 35 cents, that's more. I will be able to find the bun's price. So I will take the jelly's 45 cents. Don't forget the cent symbol, plus the extra part that's small. Thirty-five cents to find the bunch price. So like George say, first find the cost of the bun. So I done my working at the side. Forty-five cents plus thirty-five cents. Yeah. Yeah. You remember to regroup. Very good. That's right. So it's 80 cents for the bun. Now, I found the cost of the bun. Have I completed answering the question? No, not yet. It's not done yet. Yes, yeah, so I need to find out the whole of it. It's all you want to sit beside Austin. There's a chair beside Austin. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, Austin has put some space for you. Go and join Austin. He even put a chair. He also put a chair for you. Thank you, friends. Okay, so I need to move on to step B, which is how much altogether. So after I found the bun, then I can, you see, I didn't have to draw the model again because I read. I just drew the bracket here. Let me color in pink. So I already find the part B in O, which is here, part B. This is part B. But if I like, right, I can, so I can just type jelly plus bun will give me all together. That will be 45 cents plus the bun 80 cents. Now, if you like, you can draw the model again. So I draw the purple one here. So this is the jelly. And then I draw the longer bar for the bun, which I found in A. The A's answer. So this A answer is for the bun. The bun. So the bun is 80 cents. Are you okay? Then the jelly. Jelly is 45 cents. Then ask for all together how much. So like part of the model. So that's if you want to draw the model, okay? If you don't want, it's okay. You can also keep it as the bracket in pink that I colored. So they, they mean the same thing. Okay? The bracket on top here. Hmm, okay, 125 cents, very fast. We are calculating good and quick. Because four plus eight is well, yeah, so that's correct. You got your 125 cents. Then you realize that here, after you write 125 cents, there's another equal sign here. What do you think is for? Ah, thank you, Peter. Yes, it's for telling us that I can change 125 cents. To one dollar and twenty five cents. Yes, that's right. So this one hundred cents here can become one dollar, and plus the twenty five cents. And when we write it, will be one dollar dot twenty five. So I write here dollar sign one point two five. The dot separates the dollars from the cents. Mm. 
that is you very tired if you want to rest i will say okay but you must promise me to go home watch the video and catch up on your work can you do that okay I think some of you, you must keep up the good habit of waking up early and sleeping early. Yeah, and if you don't have that habit, then during the admin days or school holidays, you sleep late, wake up late. Then when you, come back, when you need to come back to school, you cannot adjust to the correct hours. Yeah, and then you get tired in the morning. Why? Oh. Yeah, so the having good habits are very important. You are going to go to primary three next week already. I'm getting worried for you. Hmm? When you are in primary three. Hmm. I, guess, I wish that all of you will grow up healthy, happy, and strong. And remind yourself not to spend too much time on games and devices. Hmm. Okay, can we move on? We got some more to go. I think we are in good time. We are going to try out the two step work problems. And some of us might find that it's challenging. Some of us might find that it's easy to do. So let's go to the story about Mr. Hafiz. Okay. So here in this story, I say you have to read the through the race steps, okay? And if you find that sometimes it's very hard to understand a question, you can draw models or pictures to help you. In this case, I see the dollar sign here. I can immediately highlight and tell myself that dollars is a very important unit. So you see Mr. Hafiz, he yeah. goes to the toy shop or the big supermarket that sells lots of things and he decided in his wallet, right, he has some money. Gonna buy things, got money inside. Inside the wallet, he has money, lots of money. $980. Then he went to buy things. He bought a tricycle for $189. Tricycle means that it has three wheels. Okay. Right? So draw three wheels here. Oh gosh, very hard to draw. Yeah, you can don't draw if you don't want to. And he has a handle here. And this one, his price tag is $189. And then he bought a toy slide. A toy slide that you can sit up there and play. Maybe he bought it for his children. What can adults play with slide? I also like to play with slide. Oh, but I have not played slides in a long while. The slide, yeah, the child. Yeah, there's a scary slide. Where? Oh, those curly, curly ones. Big flips. Wow, that's frightening. Hmm. Okay. So there are different ways to solve this. In the end, he still has some money left. So the question asks, after buying so many things, how much money will he has left? Okay, so I can what I can do is I can do I draw a model now 
all the money here, this is $980. Okay, and then you realize that there's one part, a small part, There's a small part that is for the tricycle. Then there's quite a big part here, $285 for the toy slide. Then got left over. Left how much? This one for the tricycle, this one for the toy slide. So now there are different ways to solve this. I'll just say maybe you can minus the tricycle. That's the first step. Then what would be the second step if I choose minus? Yes, Manita? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a different method. So the first method is first I minus the tricycle. Then after that, I minus the first slide. One step at a time. Yeah, Hansi and Pradita have a different idea. Hansi and Pradita says, hey, I can add the things that he buy, the spending amount, the thing that he used to buy the, buy the tricycle and first slides, he add them together. Then after that, subtract. Also can. So two methods for you. Method number one, to solve this problem, I can either subtract them one by one or I can like Hadik say, so Hadik says and Pranita say, I can add first. Add what? Add the price that they bought. Add the toy plus the slide. To find out how much he money he used up. Find out the money that he's used to buy the toy slide. Yeah, so you can do I can do option number one, use all the money minus the toy slide first. Then I find use that money here then after that i minus the slide so i minus the tricycle then i minus the slide or like Hasik and panita says instead i can use the toy slide uh, and the tricycle i add together with the toy slide first to find out how much did it he buy use to buy things then i use the total amount that is 980 dollars to find the amount that you spend and then what's left. Don't forget that. Don't copy everything you huh? choose. Can you choose which one you like better? Okay. You can choose either you subtract them one by one. If you want to choose both, you must show me all four workings. Huh? Yes. 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 Yeah, can you choose which method you like? Who likes to do that one say minus the transfer, then minus the slide? Huh? It's also two steps, right? Minus them one by one. Okay, who say use Hazi and Pranita's ideas? I add them up first. Okay, then after that, I subtract from the amount that we had. Okay. Can you make sure you do the workings correctly? You need to regroup if you need to regroup. Okay, so by yeah, so up to you which one you want. Don't forget to write the dollar sign. Okay, hold on that. Let me write down first. So if you're using that one method, I'm going to write down the working here 980 minus 189. 
Don't forget to do the recruiting. Recruiting is very important. Okay. Then after that, I take the first subtraction. I continue with the next subtraction. Do you think you will get the same answer? Ah, yes, that's right. So, so these are the workings for this method. Let me use a thin highlighter to separate them. Or I can do add them up first. Okay. Why did the working fly up here? Mm, then you realize that A, you get the same answer. There's $506. Okay, so both, both methods are okay. Please fill in your answers. Hold on, So I'm trying to model here for you to see. So everybody here today, right? Mm, yes. Okay, so if there are two methods you can do. One on the left, like that's why I say, subtract the items one by one. One on the right, I add up the things that we buy. Then after that, I take away from the all his money. Is that okay? Can we do that now? Okay, if you have trouble remembering or understanding, then please, like what I told Travis and what Travis promised, you will go home and watch the video on YouTube to help you to catch up with the work. Yeah. Okay, moving on. You can go on and catch the video, okay? So we don't want everybody to wait for each other for too long. Okay, the last two questions here, we have got the things that Sean wants to buy, and then the last two questions are multiplication and division, two pages, okay? Two pages to go here. So let's take a look at the Sean and Bernice buying things from what it seems like a bookshop. Question five. Now, so in this question here, Sean has $15. He wants to buy, so I'm going to write down here, so you have the raised steps here, and you notice that they are all in dollars, so I can just write dollars. Yes. Yes. Um, Sabrina. Oops. Yeah, we are going to finish the whole sheet today. But I'm going to give 
some of your friends like Travis, he needs a bit more time for homework. There's other uh, review tomorrow, tomorrow. There's still tomorrow. Even though tomorrow is our health concern, I will get to see you, right? You can still do the homework today. Okay. Uh, please try to give me complete the worksheet and give me tomorrow so that I have the weekend to mark your worksheet. I only see you next. Thank you, God. I only see you next Tuesday and Wednesday. The last two days we will see you. Okay. And we still got one review worksheet to do. Before I say bye bye and good luck for primary three. Okay. Uh, yeah, not really, but you'd be nice to take next work. You guys are busy working? You guys are busy? Yeah, don't worry, this thing will take photo, photo, and share. Okay. Yeah, and, and, uh, and find photos even if I cannot take. There will be a person taking photos. Okay. So yeah, and most likely I will I don't think I'll be able to teach you next year. They're all going to be in different classes because they're all going to be different P3 classes. It'll be quite interesting. You make new friends, get to know new people. Finally, you let you get to learn about new next teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue with okay. So in this story. Sean wants to buy the file and the crayon. You realize that the file is here, seven dollars. He wants to buy the file, and then he wants to buy the crayon. The file and the crayon is here. The file and crayon. So to find the file and crayon, that is seven dollars plus twelve dollars, and that's how much money. Seven plus twelve is huh? eighteen. Seven plus two, you know, nineteen dollars. You realize that? Yes. Does does Sean have enough money? Ah, so so does not have enough money. So you realize that? You see, I have the found money. The file here is seven dollar. Okay, then the crayon is twelve dollar. You realize that it's more than it is more than what amount of money he has. He only has how much money? So Sean's money is only how much? $15, that's correct. So here not enough. He need to ask his parents or he need to save up more money so that he can buy these two things. Right now, he only has $15. So he has to take this cost, all of it, that's $19, minus Sean's money, that's $15. You realize that he needs to top up or save some more, save $4 more. So Sean needs to save a bit more money to be able to buy these two items. Right now, he does not have enough, like what he is saying. Only got fifteen dollar, not enough to buy these two things. He needs four dollars more.
Then the next morning shows your debt. Bernice, Bernice got $60. She bought two different things and then she has $46 left. They ask you to guess what are the two things did she buy? That's the next question. So first of all, we need to find out how much did she spend. Correct. So first of all, there's this amount of money that she has, that's $60. Then um, out of this $60, she actually has quite a bit left. She left with $46. The whole thing is $60. Okay, she buys two different things and then she has $46 left. So this one is the left amount. Yeah, correct. So you need to find what is it that add up to this, give you this amount here. Yeah, so over here there are two things that she buys. Mm -hmm. Correct. So here we first of all we find how much money she spent. Right? So first you use all the money, you minus the left amount, you'll find out how much she spent. So you're right, using the for sixty dollars, I minus the for six forty six dollars, you'll get sixty dollars, and that's how much she spent on things. Again, that's correct. So, I know that it's $60. Uh, $40, what am I saying? Sorry. You are right. $40. I use 60 minus 46. Regroup. 10 minus 6 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. So, you look at the things on the shelf. What? Two items can add up to give you $14. Is it the book, the file, the crayon, or color pencil? Which two things add up will give you $14? Ah, very good. That's right. You found out the answer already. So we need to find out what are the two items you add up will give you $14. Have you found already? Ah, uh, the diary book plus the color pencil. Let's check. The diary book is five dollars. The color pencil is nine dollars. That's right. It is fourteen dollars. So Bernice bought the diary book. D e i. Can you spell it out yourself? The diary book here. Okay, my computer is a bit lagging. Oops. Okay, but you can see the words here, right? In your worksheet also, the diary book and the colored pencils. So you spell yourself, okay? Okay, we have two more pages down. Okay, so far, is anything too difficult to understand? Is my explanation helpful? Okay, 
Okay, now I move on to the next and the last section on multiplication and division of work problems involving money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm actually back in Like I said, if you really have trouble catching up, I'm recording this on video. You can go over and look up uh, on my YouTube channel. Okay. Oh, okay. Then I can I can share with your parents and let him know that you are doing this. So sometimes it's because your parents are worried if you take the device and you start watching something else that you shouldn't. Then you spend five minutes watching this Iceland video. And then two hours of watching your own game and random video. See, I don't know, man. I know. That day I bumped into some primary one children. They spent so much time singing the new song that a lot of people are singing. Uh, but, uh, no, you also know. Gosh, can you sing the multiplication table until you're so familiar with APT? APT is not going to help you in your maths learning. Uh, good that you don't know. Better not to know. Please know your times table key mistake. Some of you now you have still you still are not able to remember the time table correctly. Unless Mika, you can see the time table according to the show. Why not? Two, four, six, eight. Ten up. Two, four, six, eight. Ten, twelve, forty, sixty. Ten up. Really? I'm testing. What's eight times three? Eight times three. Too slow, Mika. Look at how fast some of the friends are. You go back and practice with the song. Right. Right? Fair enough. Alicia, also, how good is your time table? You know the APT song, but how well do you know your time table? Challenge you to sing the song. Huh? Three times one is three, three times two is six. Three, three, nine, three, four, twelve. Fair enough. Go ahead and practice your time table. Okay, let's go to multiplication and division. The last problem worksheet already. <laughs> After we are done with this, I really wish you all the best. I'm going to miss two now. Thank you for growing up with me. I see I'm only growing old. Oh, you are growing up. Okay, I see you from primary one, primary two. Well, yeah, me too. I also don't want to grow up. Yeah. I also like, I also love to see George in his cute way. I still remember when I met Kelsa for the first time at Primary One. Her eyes were all red. Yeah. I said, why Kelsa? She would not want to come to class. And now she's going to Primary Three, all confident. In fact, she even has she even performed so many times in our school events already. Yeah, so great. Yeah, I still remember seeing me earn for the first time or so. She just came to our school just a while ago, right? And now all of you are going to go to Charmy Tree. Yeah. And all oh, this was a bit more round now. It's now we will learn to stay to the longer. Yeah, you're a little bit more round last year. Yeah, okay, let's see all the ones that you can make your spare your annotation. All right, so I'm going to just pick up a few questions to do with you. I want you to be able to write down your DEP as well. Learn these skills. I hope you will bring all these skills to your primary tree and be able to solve them. Okay? 
So with this, you can see the six node works tell you the groups. And then you have the each here. So three dollars is each. The six notebooks is group. So you are looking for total. Six books at three dollars each. So you have six notebooks. At three dollars each. Why is six times three? Eighteen. Okay, eighteen what? Eighteen dollars. Thank you very much. Six notebooks cost eighteen dollars. Ah, okay. Do you think you can do these questions, the rest of the questions for yourself? Um, don't need to shop, don't need to shop, okay? Seven grandchildren, so seven is the grandchildren. Seven grandchildren and each of them gets ten dollars. So all together is the total. Yes, very good. You already know what to do. Whenever you are looking for the total, you will use multiplication. So that's not so difficult, right? Super easy, very good. Then the last question, question three. Hey, you know, when I was marking your previous worksheet, I saw some of you write things like this. Is this correct? Wait a minute, it's lagging again. Okay. Is this correct? What is not correct? What's wrong? Yes. Ah. Thank you. So it's, a, it's supposed to be seven grandchildren. Yeah, you used to make that mistake, right? Oh, yeah. You now you understood well. So it's not seven dollars, it's seven grandchildren times ten dollars each. Then you get your seventy dollars altogether. Okay. Now, that's the question three. Are you able? I'm uh, going too fast. Huh? I thought you say it's easy, ma. So easy, I go faster. Question three. Is it still multiplication? No. Never mind. Why is it division? Ah, okay. So, yes, that's one. You need to find each. So, when, if you are given the total all together, right? Yes, then you have the groups, right? Ah, okay, very good. You already know how to do. So proud of you. I hope that we have. Learn, you feel that you learn maths well with me, please. Next year, when you see another teacher, you must also work hard, hard and try your best, okay? So you have the each that is a question mark, and then you have the two charities. So I will write the $20. Divide by the two charities. You will get $10 each. Don't forget the symbol, okay? Okay. Can you let you know the last page yourself? 
and write homework. Homework, okay? Okay, tomorrow, then tomorrow I will collect uh, but I must collect. Now, uh, I missed the stage. Okay, wait a minute. Was it difficult? Okay, get up to the thing. It's okay. Hey, are you? Are you guys looking at this? You guys all just said he needs to look at the previous speech. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Hold on, let me skip to the next speech, previous speech for you. Now you can see. Put that down, it's fine. Put that one for This one? This one? Okay, I've lost you. I don't see his last letter. Huh? Uh, okay, we need to do fouling next week. Uh, do you want to get off the iPad time? You can do some bits if you want to. Okay, can you check out your things first before you pick the iPad? Okay, I have not assigned a new one this week. You can finish up the previous one first from last week. Okay, you can pick up your things first before you take the iPad, okay? So that later on when the bell rings, you can just focus on keeping and going. Okay, Mika, you're done, right? Okay, can I just end first? I end with the table first. Okay. Thank you.